<laughs> hey, great to see you again, guys. Uh, so today's question is, to mulch or not to mulch? Uh, wanted to go over this because I get this question quite often. Uh, should I be bagging my grass or should I be mulching my grass? And the answer is it just depends. Uh, a couple of things to consider. What type of mower do you have? Does it have the mulching option, number one? Number two, does it have a mulching blade? And number three, does it have an engine big enough to get that mulch fine enough? Most of you guys have a pretty, uh, I don't want to use the word cheap, but lower end mower uh, that keeps the mulch at about anywhere between quarter of an inch to half an inch or to even three quarters of an inch tall. Now I find in these situations, those types of, uh, that type of thatch is not going to be fine enough to really break down in the soil. At that point, you're better off not mulching. Uh, but I want to show you something. Most people have no clue what a mulching blade actually looks like. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a setup over here. And three out of these five blades that I have set up over here on my mower are actually mulching blades. If you can pick these out, you are much better than the average person. Uh, the three general types of blades are going to be a standard blade, a high lift blade, and then a mulching blade. Now, this one right here, believe it or not, this one at the end is a mulching blade. Uh, the next one is also a mulching blade. And this one's kind of gnarly. You can see how big the teeth are on this guy. Um, this red blade, it's kind of hard to tell, so I'm going to pick it up here real quick and hopefully you can see it's got a lift on it. They, they call this a high lift blade and you can see it's got that aggressive end to it. Now what this is for is it's for lawnmowers uh, such as mine that do bagging and it helps lift the grass into the bagging area. So we'll just put that down right there. Uh, this is your standard blade and there is a difference as you can see in that height, it is not a high lift blade, but it's designed to just push the grass into the bag. Now, the reason why this is also mulching blade, you'll notice this is the same as the first one that we looked at. Uh, you can see this notch right here. This is what throws the grass up and causes the mulch. Um, I find that these blades are not very aggressive. Um, they do the job if you have a high enough horsepower mower. Now, even the mower that I have uh, right in front of you, which is the John Deere 125 automatic, uh, it does a pretty decent job with the right mulching blade, uh, but it's got a lot more horsepower than your common household mower. Now, this is my absolute favorite. They call this a gator blade. Uh, it's, well, it's also called a rotary blade. This is actually called a gator G3, but it's got these gnarly teeth that are really going to disintegrate and cause the uh, mulch to go into more of a more of a dust and that's where we want to see it and that's how it'll break down if you don't have this kind of equipment I wouldn't do it we got a lot of excess problems with uh, mulching uh, we got fungal issues what happens is is if the mulch isn't ground up fine enough the water doesn't evaporate properly from the ground and it stays in the mulch. Then we get a separate problem. That mulch, since it's not breaking up, it's susceptible to the sun and that sun bakes it and it almost looks like a charcoal gray color and it retains more heat and it starts to fry out the lawn. Now topically that mulch isn't going to go anywhere. It's just going to stay there. So the fertilizer isn't going down into the soil where it should be. So you're not getting the proper nutrients. And then the roots, because they can't get the proper nutrients and the water also gets stuck in the mulch as well, they curl back up to the surface. You end up with shallow root syndrome. So I'm not a big fan of mulching unless you have the proper equipment. So I, I kind of joke around with people. I say, if you don't have a $5,000 mower, don't mulch. Uh, if you want to mulch and you feel like you're your mower is capable of it, get yourself that nice rotary gator blade and just get that into that fine powder. But if you're seeing streams of mulch coming out of the back of your mower, you're not doing it correctly. It's just not doing its job. But this is to mulch or not to mulch. If you guys have any questions or concerns, hit me up in the comments. Uh, love to hear from you guys. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.